Okay, so real quick, I figure I'll make a video talking a little bit about uh, kind of the the ramifications and the aftermath of the uh, the 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 so-called Snyder cut of Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, as is the official title, and. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to get too much into talking about the movie itself, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it was much better, much, much, much better than the theatrical release uh, that Joss Whedon was responsible for. Even though uh, his name's not on there as director, he was pretty much the director. He might have been, you know, picking up from Zack Snyder and using some of the stuff that Zack Snyder did, but... Uh, that ain't Zack Snyder's movie. That's Joss Whedon's movie. I don't care whose name is on it. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that uh, there's not going to be any more of the, uh, the so-called Snyderverse going forward. I don't believe that one bit. Uh, a lot of the people that I see saying this kind of stuff are the same people telling us that the Snyder Cut was never going to happen. Well, it happened. So... Uh, Zack Snyder himself said that he believed that uh, it would be more likely that he would be able to do a sequel to Justice League than it would be for him to do the his own cut of Justice League, which, you know, happened. So, you know, everybody that's saying that there's not going to be any more of the Snyderverse going forward, I hope you guys are willing to take the L when it happens, because it's probably going to. I know there's a lot of people at the brass of Warner Brothers saying it's not going to happen right now. Well, you guys were the same one saying that the Snyder Cut wasn't going to happen, and yet here we are. Uh, Snyder Cut's gotten a really good reaction from people who saw it. Uh, critics have actually been behind this one. They, they've been giving it good ratings. Uh, people who've seen the movie have been giving it good ratings. People who were previously critical of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman have been much more kind to the Snyder Cut. And I've seen a lot of them say, you know, like, I didn't like, you know, the previous two movies, but this one's actually pretty good. I, I like this one. We're, we're going to see more. We're going to see more if Warner Brothers has a brain in their head. Now, look, I know a lot of people are saying, well, what about the stuff they've already got in development? What about the, the Robert Pattinson Batman movie? What about the J.J. Abrams Superman movie? Frankly, I'm not too excited about either one of those and haven't really been at all. Like, I thought it was a bad idea to, to recast Batman so soon. I really think they should have gone ahead with the Ben Affleck solo movie before they did anything else. It's way too early to, to spring a new Batman on us. And, frankly, from what I've seen of it, I'm just not that interested. I I've seen a lot of people go gaga over that trailer that they put out, but it just... Why? I don't understand. Like, to me, that one just looked like, well, let's just do the Christopher Nolan movies again, but on a lower budget. Like, his, his outfit looks like bad cosplay. Like, it looks like if somebody wanted me to make a, a Christian Bale Batman outfit, but I only had, like, $15 to do it, like, that would be the best. I mean, it's got, like, regular pants. <laughs> like, what the That's embarrassing. And, and that cowl? Oh, man, it, that cowl is so garbage. It, it looks like somebody... It literally looks like somebody to throw, sewed together a garbage bag and made a cowl. It's bad. Like, the little teeny tiny ears it's got on it. And it's just... Nah, man, I'm sorry. Like, like you look at the Ben Affleck Batman suit, and this is, like... 15 steps back from what it should have been. It's, it's, ugh, I can't, I can't get excited about that movie. And, and J.J. Abrams doing a Superman movie? Come on, we know what J.J. Abrams did with Star Wars and Star Trek, and I'm not interested in seeing what he, he's going to do with Superman. You guys, like, have you read that Superman script that he wrote, like, 20 years ago, where, like, Krypton didn't blow up, and Lex Luthor was a Kryptonian? And it was just pure garbage. Like, I don't, I don't know why anybody would think it would be a good idea at this point to give J.J. Abrams Superman. I'm sorry. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be negative Nancy about that. 
I try not to be negative about too much stuff, but eh, I'm not feeling that one. I'm sorry. So to tell me that we're not going to see any more of, of Zack Snyder's DC Universe, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all. I think we're going to see more. Like, we already know that Ben Affleck is, is returning to do The Flash, that he's going to be in that movie. You know, there, there's been some people saying that might be a flashpoint that might wind up rebooting the DC Universe somehow. There's some people that are saying that Michael Keaton, who's also going to be in that movie, is going to be the main Batman going forward. But if they're really pushing this multiverse, like, what's the main Batman? Like, what does that even mean at this point? I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's all kinds of ways that this could go. There's all kinds of directions this could go in. And I'm curious to see what it is, but I'm betting that these char these versions of the characters are going to be pretty important going forward. What I think would be the best thing to do, and what I would do personally, is they've already got kind of a DC Universe thing going on on the CW shows. And they've got new movies coming out. And they've got this Justice League that they've put on HBO Max. And I say, why not have, like, separate universes? And that could that could work out pretty well. Like, if you did your, your Snyderverse on HBO Max, if that was, like, your HBO DC Universe going forward, and then you could still have your CW shows and introduce a new Batman for that. Like, I know Batwoman is kind of floundering, and apparently they, they've now recast Kate Kane, and it's just like, I don't know, man, that feels to me like it, it might be too little too late. Like, maybe that'll be enough to save that show, I don't know. But that show's had, like, a lot of problems, like, in, in the time that it's been on. Uh, but, but they need to introduce a Batman in that universe. And introduce a new Wonder Woman in that universe. Have your own Wonder Woman, have your own Batman on the CW shows, and team up with that version of Superman. By the way, I like that version of Superman. Uh, I think they're, they're doing a pretty good job with that. Uh, and then, like, on, on your HBO Max, that's where you can, you can uh, restore the Snyderverse, as it was. And then in the movies, just kind of like... You know, do whatever. Kind of model the movies after the way that they were doing the uh, animated DC movies, where they were just kind of self-contained and did their own thing with the characters. And, you know, every once in a while, you can have some that tie together or be part of a series. Like, I know they did a series of, of uh, movies based off the New 52 versions of the characters. So you could have other movies that would uh, be part of the Snyderverse, or maybe even tie into the CW universe, or just kind of stand alone, like the way Joker did, and the way that supposedly, rumor has it, the J.J. Abrams Superman movie would, would do. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it, it, it would be a big mistake at this point to just utterly abandon the Zack Snyder iteration of the DC Universe, considering how it's like, you know, getting such a positive reaction, and it's all people seem to be talking about on social media right now. Like, why would you throw that away? Oh yeah, because you're Warner Brothers, and you never know what to do with these characters. Alright, I guess that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Bye.